Hey all and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cool typewriting effect only using HTML and CSS. Let's get started with our chord band right here. There we go. Now let's start off with our HTML file which is just simply just a span and inside of that we have an h1 tag which has a uh, sentence on it and that's it on the html side let's go to our css and as you can see i have normalized everything as usual and then on the body i have height 100 ph and did everything to center it center the um, text and then give it a background of this gray color all right also i did one more thing i predefined all the stylings of our text so the font family is monospace which is this cool typewriter like font which is similar to the typewriter font and then font size is set to 30 pixels and the color is white and then a border to the right which is this green color and the reason why I did this it did that is because of the cursor blinking animation which will look cool when we finally finish it and then also a simple letter spacing of 8 pixels all right with that out of the way let's start making our animation so add keyframes and then right which will be the writing effect I'm just giving it a simple short name and then at 0% we will have width of 0 pixels and then 100% width will be 100% and let's just put our animation to the test so animation is gonna be three seconds and then write in finite all right let's see how it works there we go nothing is properly working at least right now and also the try three writing effect the step by step thingy is not also here and first we can fix the width actually gr growing and after that we will take care of that so for the width we are going to use overflow hidden all right let's see what happens there we go when we put overflow hidden as you can see it won't take its uh, complete width at the beginning instead it will take its length after the animation starts playing all right I hope that makes sense to you and the next thing we need to address is the collapsing text so, and for that we have collapsing test text because we have so many white spaces right here and it's not taking the full width so as I said the overflow hidden is for not taking the full width but we actually need the full width for pre-rendering or pre-typing all the text so the text will be right there but it will only show when we play the animation so white spacing is gonna be no wrap uh, okay. there we go should work right now white space huh let me get back to it just in a moment all right now I figured out the problem that was due to this no wrap having a hyphen so we don't actually need that hyphen silly me just thought it was necessary 
Alright, anyway, with that out of the way, we can see our typewriter is taking to is beginning to take its form. But still, there ain't no typewriting effect. And for that, we can use one timing function of animation. So as you all know, the timing animation timing function is always at the end of the animation property. So if you have seen my previous video, if you haven't, I will put a link down below. There I've always used linear right here, but we don't need it. We actually have another property for the step-by-step -step animation for it. So that name is ironically steps and let me just put 40 here there we go it's just writing step by step or just a block by letter by letter and this, what actually the steps does is it will uh, make the animation render in a step by step fashion or like dumbing down the fps on the on a game for a simpler term all right so it's just a lot of fps just a uh, frame rate are going down kind of thing anyway with this out of the way let's start to code our blinging animation and for that we are gonna use add keyframes itself all right copy and paste it so zero and first here we will have back Um, border will be set to um, just copy it and paste it, paste it transparent, and let's just put it, put the animation name to blink. And we can also do one thing if we put comma here we can actually write multiple animations to it and here since we have only specified border it shouldn't temp tinker with other uh, properties right here so this should be 0.75 seconds all right and then animation name blink infinite And then linear. Alright, what well, seems to be the problem? Alright, the spelling mistake of infinite. Just a problem of an I there. There we go. And it's now working perfectly. And let's just remove this infinite right here. And then clean the code a little bit. all right now it's looking cool and you have done the typewriting effect i hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new on the way until the next video goodbye